why is this important? So carbon can form um, bonds depending on its electron configuration, right? So I'm going to write this down here. So carbon can, or uh, let, me, let me just write here how many bonds can carbon form and why. So if you look at the electron configuration, um, configuration of carbon here, so carbon here has, if I look at my periodic table, carbon exists here, right? So my, my first thing I have to write is 1s2, and then 2s2, and then it's 2p2, right? So it's carbon here has electron configuration of, this is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p2, right? Uh, yes, 2p2 here. And what, what we can do with uh, with this information here is what uh, what it goes through is going to it's basically going to hybridize and it, basically these sp s these sp3 S, sp orbitals here are going to rearrange themselves to figure uh, to create kind of four uh, four pockets for for uh, for electrons can, to sit on so basically carbon here it's going to hybridize to form basically sp3 orbitals here so basically I'm going to get if I were to draw of the uh, the the, uh, the the energy level diagram here. I have one S2, so this is filled here, and then I'm gonna have two S2, and then I have two P2, right? Two P2 here. So initially, I'm, I, I had something like this, which means that I can actually, I can't actually form my bonds here. So what it's going to, it's going to hybridize. So let me draw this out for you. It's going to go through hybridization and then I'm going to get, again, I still have 1s2 in the ground state level, but I'm going to have this, these 2s2 and 2p2 orbitals are going to hybridize to become the same energy level here. So I'm going to get actually four, four specific uh, orbitals. So I'm combining this 2s2 orbital and the 2p2 orbital to form two sp3 orbitals here. So this here, again, my electrons will then split up. I'll have, uh, according to Hans rule and off the off bound principle, it's going to occupy um, all the electrons first before it doubles up. So again, here it, it means that I, all my electrons here are filled with one, it's a half filled, uh, it's gonna be a half filled uh, orbital here, which makes this very, very stable. So this here, again, if I, how many bonds can I make then? I can make then here, I can make one, two, three, and four bonds. So carbon here can make four bonds here. And this is done through hybridization of the 2s, 2s2 and the 2p6 orbitals to create sp3 orbitals here of organic chemistry right we care well, carbon here is always bonded ch3 for example is bonded to or ch4 sorry is bonded to always four carbons here and this kind of starts our backbone of organic chemistry right we have alkanes alkenes alkynes um, and all the functional groups are all based on the fact that carbon can make four bonds here so again uh, they did the exact same thing they drew up the electron configuration and i believe that they, I don't know if they talked about hybridization, they should have in this case. Um, 2s2 and 2p orbitals are the valence electrons. Carbon has four valence electrons, uh, full octet here. So I, I think they're actually missing this point of hybridization. So let me uh, let me just say uh, it's an incomplete solution. Solution. Um, good, uh, good analysis for writing down the electron configuration of carbon. However, missing missing the key point of hybridization. Hybridization, where the two s two and two p six orbitals are mixed and forms two sp three orbitals, meaning that car carbon is half filled therefore allowing for four bonds on carbon. Carbon. Sweet. So obviously the solution is incorrect because they were just missing some key points of this information. Because uh, if I had this guy here, I can't see that I can make four bonds here. I can't be like one, two, three, four here. This doesn't make sense. I need to make uh, hybridization occurs to allow me to make four different bonds here. You can think of those as four hydrogens with the red arrows here, four chlorines, four fluorines, whatever you want in that case. So that's six here.